Alright guys, how's it going today? Um, today I've got my uh, Moto G over here, and actually this is running a uh, custom OS on it, which is Saijin Mod, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got some uh, pretty awesome features. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys, I've already showed you guys how to install uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But it looks like D-Hacker has continued development on this thing, and now has um, Twerp Recovery working on it as well. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, let me just show you what I'm running right now just so we're all on the same page. Again, this is the um, Moto G and its number is the XT1032, so that's the US version right here. Um, and this is basically it. It is running Android 4.4.2, oh, which is uh, KitKat. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install Twerp Recovery on the device. Um, prerequisite is you need to have an unlocked bootloader and once you have an unlocked bootloader um, you'll pretty much be good to go that's your only real prerequisite for it um, obviously to get an unlocked bootloader you're gonna need to already have your fast boot ADB um, files and your drivers and all that kind of stuff set up if you haven't got an unlocked bootloader please watch my unlocked bootloader video for this device for the Moto X it works on pretty much any of the Motorola devices that are supported uh, and I'll probably put a link to that in the video description so let's go ahead and hook this thing up to the computer So we got our uh, USB cable right here. We'll go ahead and plug it in. And it's going to go ahead and plug in. Now, I did go ahead and already enable USB debugging, which you're, to do that, you're just going to go to About Phone and go to Build Number and just keep tapping until it says you're a developer. Then go to Developer Options, scroll down to Android Debugging, and turn it on. And you should have this little, well this is the side of my guy, but it should be like a jelly bean or something on the, up there. Maybe a KitKat bar up there where it says Android debugging enabled. So that's what we're looking for right there. Let's go ahead and show you the commands to flash this. It's really pretty simple. So let's, let's uh, open up this window over here and I'll show you what you're working with. Alright, so you can see the device is still there. It's going to be sitting there. Um, Basically, you need to find those fast boot files. So I know mine are actually located here. Here's an ADB file. Here's a fast boot file. So I know I can open a command window here. So to open a command window in a folder that has those files, wherever you have yours, just hold Shift, right click, open command window here, and that puts it in that extension. So that's pretty good. And then we're going to go back. We got the command window open. We're going to copy our twerp recovery file, which I got from dhacker side CM11 page on XDA and I'll give you a link to it and we're just going to take it and drag it whoop, drag it into the file that has our fastboot files so right here and it should be right there it is listed so go ahead and uh, make sure your USB is unplugged at this point because it's gonna mess up if you have it plugged in so just go ahead and power off there we go that's gonna power off the device and next, once it's powered off, I think it is, you're going to hold both uh, volume up and down and power. One, two, three, four, five, and release them all. And here you go, you're going to be in bootloader mode. This is where you're going to go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your device. There we go, that's good. It's connected and we'll open up a command window over here now that we've copied over our file into our fastboot and uh, ADB folder so just hold um, shift we'll go hold shift open command window here there we go and then before we bring that video back up I'm gonna go ahead and really quick I do a rename and then I copy the name of the folder or the file copy and make sure it has the .img at the end. If yours doesn't show it, add .img at the end of it. Um, I should say at the end of it up here in this screen, not down here. So let's go ahead and look back at the device. There we go. So we have everything. So all we're going to do is type in fastboot devices. So fast boot. 
devices. Enter. And it comes back with a number and says fast speed. That means your drivers are working. That means we can flash twerp recovery. So from here, you're just going to type in fast boot flash recovery spaces between all this. And then we're going to paste the name of that recovery we just copied. So the twerp, blah, 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 Moto G 4.4.image. Like I said, make sure it says dot image at the end, um, or else it will not flash correctly. And the 4.4 stands for Android 4.4. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's been flashed. So from here, all you guys got to do is come in here and scroll down to recovery. Because scrolling is with down, down volume, and to select is with volume up. So then hit volume up once you see recovery and you should boot into twerp recovery or team win mm -hmm. recovery project there you go uh, and that is it so now you have all your fun awesome stuff in twerp with the touch screen functioning so you can go in here and do a backup you know select everything you want to select and should be able to if I can get this oh you can't do recovery I forget go ahead and unlock it back and do your Android backups install your ROMs all that kind of stuff uh, I did read in the form this is still just a smidge buggy with the touch screen hopefully D hacker and his team is still gonna be working on it and fix a couple things but it is out there if you guys want it it's pretty simple I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick reboot of my system mm -hmm. and get it back out and everything should be set up that's it that's how to get torp recovery on your Moto G US version GSM however you want to call it um, pretty simple so you guys can close out the utility mm -hmm. up here everything will be rebooting and you can go ahead and flash ROMs do whatever you want to do in Torp Recovery hope you guys like this talk to you guys later Root Junkie out